There are no words does not apply today, as I have many words that I choose to say. You made a decision, and I pray that you are tormented and tortured, both physically and mentally, because of it. How dare you use the excuse that you performed the unthinkable because you had a challenging upbringing. In your video, you demonstrated that you were in full control and quite calculative with what you intended to do. You carried it out and were quite coherent to request a sentencing trial by jury. How dare you cover your ears during the trial? How dare you destroy this community and my family? God should not have mercy on your soul or physical being. You robbed my family and many others of life, happiness, love, and so much more. Alyssa was an innocent, charismatic, and empathetic young soul who was on a path to make a difference in this world. You destroyed that. You single-handedly robbed her of the right to live that you exercised by request of jury trial for sentencing. As a grandmother, you took away my pleasure of spending quality time with my granddaughter. I pass by stores she loved to shop in, and all I'm filled with is sadness. The love between a grandmother and grandchild is powerful, and you've single-handedly destroyed that. I'm tortured every day knowing that I won't receive a call saying, Grandma, can you? Or Grandma, I love you. All I have now are the memories. Your actions have turned my family and my life upside down. Alyssa's grandfather, my late husband, lost his desire to live, which in turn cost him his life through illness. You've abolished all fibers of happiness. I'm not here today because my own health has been compromised, somewhat in part to your actions. We have no inner peace and are suffering tremendously. What you did is worse than pouring liquid acid on an open wound. The fact that you are still breathing the same air that I am sends shivers down my spine. You are a revolting entity. I can't even call you human as you are not. Your excuse was to blame dear old mommy. Are you serious? I hope you blame your dear old mom for the hell you're going to receive while in jail. The death penalty would have been a cakewalk compared to the demons you'll face going forward. I'm filled with many hateful and hurtful words, but alas, you're not worth any of them. You've not earned any mercy. Again, the death penalty would have been your best retreat. May every second of your rotten existence be faced with the images of each person you've slaughtered, along with each family member you've damaged. May our words haunt you like your actions haunt us.